all of her and all of her techniques. She does approach every match as a as a unique and separate engagement. And here we go, round two. Round three of the series, the rubber match here. They've split each and it's Blades coming out early with the double leg picking up the takedown. Gray working the two on one. That top hand defense from Blades. Kennedy clears, looking for an attack. Grounded here, so no points. Kennedy mentions one of the turning points in her career is when she took second at the Olympic trials as a senior in high school. Head club double for Blades. No points yet. Gray trying to get her legs back and now locking through the crotch. Trying to expo ex expose Blades, but stalemate is how we will end and the two will stand back up. You know, leverage-wise, I thought that would be a hard turn, not impossible, but Kennedy did, did a good job of keeping her hips really low to the ground, and as tall as she is, that's quite a bit of leverage needed in order to tilt her in that crotch throw position. Heavy head pressure from Adeline. <laughs> And attention on Adeline for grabbing the hair. Low shot from Blades. Same position as before. We ended in a stalemate there. And we're going to end in a stalemate here as well. Kennedy Blade signed to the Rudis brand at the age of 17, and Adeline Gray has been an Adidas, or excuse me, an ASICS athlete for an, a really long time. I love that intensity. Mm -hmm. And it, there will be a caution. I think Whistle went just one. Chair and table went caution in one, so we're going to restart in parterre. Adeline is dangerous on top. Very dangerous, known for her leg lace. She used an arm bar in match one to pick up a turn. She's got a gut wrench trying to go to the right. Kennedy's really long. You have to be careful for that step over. Right. And Adeline felt that and decided not to complete that technique wisely. Single for Blades as the two come into the table. And we're going to get one point on the step out for Blades, who's a little slow to get up, holding her head. I think she might have hit her head on the, 
on the mat or the cement as the two went out of bounds, and this is not a good sign. Blades has had issues with concussions in the past. You hope it's just, it's just a singer and she just needs a moment here to recover. Blades now able to come up to her feet. Coach Jesse with some good words of encouragement. And now Blades back to the center, strapping the headgear on, and there you see on the replay she did hit her head as they went off the mat here into the table. Blades appears to be okay though. She definitely did get rocked right there on the ground. You saw her head bounce off the ground. Fortunately, she was wearing her headgear and I think that did help absorb a little bit of it. Not that she's not gonna feel that later. Blades up three to one at the break. You're not feeling comfortable if you're a Kennedy Blades fan here. Kennedy can't shut it down. She's definitely going to have to continue wrestling to the last millisecond. <laughs> There's a single leg from Blades, taking Gray to the edge. Gray was making a weight shifted adjustment, a weight, sh a weight shift to bring her legs in bounds and change the direction. Nice low single for Blades and the quick finish there. Quick finish is key. We've seen her get to Adeline's legs a couple of times and hasn't been able to finish. Gray coming up to the two on one. Blades stepping over and attacking the left leg oh, of Gray. It's dangerous, yes. No exposure there, but Gray with the takedown, the first takedown of the match. A little technical mistake on, on Blades' part. You really don't want to step over on that wizard position and, and put your hips above your head. Gray going back to this bar turn, and that'll put her in the lead on criteria. Another two point here. Oh, Adeline might get the fall. Uh, Adeline's gonna, gonna get, get the, the fall. fall. Yes, okay. Adeline Gray once again, down big on the scoreboard, comes back, this time securing the fall. Takes the series two matches to none over Kennedy Blades. Adeline Gray once again going back to the World Championships. Adeline Gray attempting, going to be attempting to win her seventh world title in Belgrade, Serbia this fall. Yeah. Kennedy Bates, potentially the future of this weight. We thought she might be able to dethrone Adeline, took her out at the US Open, but that day has not come. Adeline Gray wins it in two matches. That's gonna do it for round two. We do have one true third place match here on the women's freestyle side. 
Now, there are a handful of Greco-Roman thir round three matches, so some of those matches are going to get moved to this mat as Emma Bruntill and Forrest Molinari.